<laughs> we are getting more details about a church youth leader facing a child sex charge in Wake County. CBS 17's Holden Kerwicki joins us live. And Holden, you actually broke the news to some members of his church community. Well, that's exactly right, Maggie. And the people who knew him best said that they were shocked that the man that they trusted with their kids now stands accused of four felony counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. They're now trying to figure out a man or how a man who they say had a clean record could commit such terrible things that he's accused of. It's a case that wasn't on the radar of Cary police until they received a tip from national counterpart. Microsoft alerted the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children that they had discovered an image on a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, file sharing network. According to arrest warrants, David Nathan Kimball, who I'm told is a youth minister at Cornerstone Presbyterian Church in Cary, had multiple images of kids as young as four years old posed in a sexually explicit manner and performing sexually explicit acts. Is it clear if he downloaded these pictures or if he took them? At this point, we just know he had them. We're not sure of the origin, how they, if, and if he, that will be part of the ongoing investigation. I've learned that Kimball was a part-time photographer in the area, but Captain Smezik says to this point, no victims have come forward. And given the nature of these sorts of crimes, it could be anywhere um, in the metropolitan area. So contact their local law enforcement agency if they would have any reason to believe that their, that their children may have been a victim. In the meantime, he says there's one step every parent should take to protect their kids. I always, always, always monitor your children's activity on the internet. Um, no, no individual, you know, always in a, a semi public space in the home. All, of, all the safe internet tips, follow them because they're there for a reason. At last check, Kimball was still inside of the Wake County Jail. Bond in his case has been set at $30,000. He's due in court for a first appearance tomorrow morning. Live in Raleigh, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.